Portugal, Morocco. Obviously, Morocco are in, in this group and they are still around in the World Cup and they are behaving like the Black Stars of 2010. If you remember, the Black Stars of Ghana became the only African country in the World Cup when everybody was knocked out. And I think Morocco is doing that. And they are doing that because this World Cup is played in the Arab world. And the best way for them to show up is this. Their performance has been exceptional. The last 2018 World Cup, they were not good. But this time around, they are brilliant. They managed to knock out Spain in the most interesting way. But before that, I, I predicted that it will be kicking out Spain. And I think they will also knock out Portugal. Portugal are good without uh, Cristiano Ronaldo. But how, how long will you keep Ronaldo on the bench? In big games like this, you need your big players to show up. And maybe Portugal will still keep Ronaldo in their squad. And that would also be the reason why maybe they might be knocked out. Because Ronaldo in the Portugal team is not that good. Because Portugal has to play through him. And when teams cut their supplies to Ronaldo, Portugal struggles to play. We saw them against Black Stars, where they literally needed some few help to even be able to beat us. Morocco have the home fans behind them. And whenever they are in the stadium, the atmosphere becomes very uncomfortable for opponents. If you ask me, I am going to make a big call, but I think Morocco is going to win this one. If Portugal does it, maybe a slim win, 1-0, or maybe two penalties. But if he goes to penalty, Morocco surprised the world. I see Morocco going all the way to the semi-finals this time around. So the last game is France, England. England, everybody, every tournament, they feel it's time for them to win. But how long can they continue to hold up to that and possibly stand a chance of winning? France, unfortunately for them, they are meeting France. A team that, I always say that this World Cup, they are playing maybe their second team because most of the players that won them the 2018 World Cup, a lot of them are not around. But if you watch them play, they still dominate opponents. Against England, England have good offensive players, but when it comes to defending, they are really struggling with that. On the other hand, France have exceptionally talented players that can run at defense. If you have a defense that has Harry Maguire and Jones and all those guys around, look sure, you clearly means clearly tell us that you cannot defend very well. England's strength is the ability to put the ball in the net and score opponents. For France, they can run at you and beat you. I think it's time for England to say goodbye to the competition and France will definitely go on. It takes it will take a lot of miracle or it will take how bad France will play for them to lose this particular game. So my prediction is Argentina stands a chance of winning, France going through, Morocco will beat Portugal and will surprise everybody. And Netherlands will maybe say goodbye because of how they've played. Let me also know what you think. My